New reporting from the Wall Street Journal out today. Michael Cohen, the president's former fixer, captured in this reported phone call with comedian Tom Arnold denying some of the crimes that he's pleaded guilty to. According to Arnold, Cohen did not know he was being reported. So here's a small portion of their conversation. I lost my business. I lost, you know, everything. My insurance, my bank accounts. All, all for, all for what? All, all for what? Because Trump, you know, had an affair with a porn star. That's really what this is about. Yep. There's no tax evasion. And the HELOC. I have an 18 percent loan to value on my home. Right. How could there be a HELOC issue? That's How? right. That's right. Right. That's it's, absolutely it's a, right. It's a lie. This recording is now surfacing as Cohen prepares to, to begin his three-year prison sentence. He goes in May 6th. CNN legal analyst Paul Callen is with me, and CNN reporter uh, Kara Scannell is with me as well. And so, Kara, just starting with you, I, so, all right, he didn't know he was being recorded. Can you, and why is Tom Arnold involved? T tell me about the, the circumstances <laughs> around this call. Well, th those two sort of became a little bit chummy when they were both staying at the Regency Hotel last year, but uh, they have seemed to have stayed in touch over this time period, and Tom Arnold recorded this conversation without Michael Cohen's knowledge on March 25th. It's about a 30-minute long conversation, according to the Wall Street Journal, which was first posted it. And over the conversation, you hear, you know, Michael Cohen saying essentially that, you know, he didn't commit these crimes. They caught him on the campaign finance violation. You know, why is he the only person being being prosecuted here, you know, that he's a man alone, you know, as this realization that he's going to be going to prison. He's tried multiple times to get that delayed. You know, he went around and asked several of the chairman of the committees in Congress who he testified before to reach out and, and ask for, you know, an extension, another delay before he would go and report to prison. He already had a 60-day delay from when he was supposed to originally report in March. Uh, you know, but this seems to be Cohen's kind of innermost thoughts of why is he the only person having to pay for these crimes. And it's important to remember, he pleaded guilty to nine crimes. Mm -hmm. You know, three of them had to do with President Trump. You know, five had to do with tax charges. He was prosecuted and pled guilty to not paying taxes on $4 million in income. That's about $1.4 million that he didn't pay in taxes. And also to lying to a bank. And his lawyer made the point about this at a sentencing, you know, pushing back, saying, you know, it wasn't really bank fraud. And the judge didn't buy it. And the judge sentenced him to three years in prison. So, why would someone plead guilty and then lie about it? Well, we're dealing with Michael Cohen here, the, the bag man for the president. And um, so, when I, you know, he's very whiny. He's not ready to go into prison, it sounds like. And the crimes that he pled guilty to, many of them were personal crimes. They weren't even crimes involving uh, the president. Some of them were, obviously, but not was all the of them. the tax evasion that he said he lied yeah. about, and then the HELOC, the home equity line of credit. And if I, were a lawyer, if I were a lawyer representing him also, you know, they said he didn't know he was being recorded. Michael Cohen should assume he's being wiretapped and recorded whenever he speaks, because he probably is. And when he goes into prison, by the way, all the telephone calls are recorded, he should know. So he should be careful. Um, I think one of the reasons he told Tom Arnold was that the, he, so why plead guilty? He said that the prosecutors were starting to go, out his, go after his wife. That's, yes. That yes. was part of the reason. Well, um, I want to play one more clip, one more clip here from uh, Michael Cohen. It's maddening. That's the yeah. Problem. Yeah, you, and you, you take you take it, but I had a mission that I needed to um, fulfill, and I needed to get the truth out there. And and very hard when you know you spent ten years taking care of somebody and their family. And you, you know, look, I, I always knew you know who he was and what he was and so on, but it didn't really matter because it's. He's a small microcosm of New York real estate. It's very different when you start looking to seeing what's happening now in the country, right. in the world. So, I mean, this is less of a legal question, but more of a, it lifts the veil on this relationship he had had. Interesting hearing him talking about not just taking care of Donald Trump, but taking care of his family for 10 years. And this is how he's left feeling. Yes, and um, I think the thing about Michael Cohen that's really interesting is he tries to portray himself as a victim and that he should have been rewarded in some way because he engaged in this activity as the person working for Donald Trump in civilian life and the presidency. Well, the thing is, if you're committing crimes when you're doing that, yeah. you go to jail if yeah. you get caught. 
all right? He got caught. He should be going to jail for a much longer period of time, and he's only getting three years. So it sounds like he got a pretty good deal considering the extent of the criminal activity that he pled guilty to. May 6th is when he uh, reports in. Paul Callen, I hear you boo-hoo all the way to, yeah, all the way I'll, to jail. I'll, I'll be crying. Yeah, uh, okay. Paul Callen, <laughs> Karis Gannell, thank you both so much for that uh, interesting piece of tape with Tom Arnold and Michael Cohen.